Welcome back guys to the James Madison Dynasty. Here in the first week of the bowls. Unfortunately, we do not have a bowl game. But we're just going to kick off the offseason right here. Go over some stats, some awards. Early National Signing Day. As we go 5-7, and seven, another disappointing season. But we got another right tackle to sign. As you could probably see, we did lose out on Colin Vaughn. Second on the board for him, just not enough time. We also get a Malik Barnett, a one-star tackle once again. We lose out on a couple other big big players on our board, a couple two-stars here and there, but it's also an opportunity to check out some of the dev traits. So maybe we could get an elite. We see a couple stars so far, and that's pretty good. Just a couple stars. That's pretty good, pretty good. Um... All Americans is a big one. Wanted to check that one out. I don't believe we'll have any first team All Americans. Yeah, no first team. George Pedaway is a second team All American. Nice to see that. And then freshman. No freshman All American either. See if we got any Sun Belt. George Pedaway, Sun Belt first team. KJ Flo, Sun Belt first team for free safety. Second team, Chauncey Logan in there. Any freshman for us? Surprisingly, just a punter. Surprisingly, no Brian Pearson. As we'll check up, check out some award winners. This is Drew Aller wins Player of the Year. He also did win the Heisman. Coach of the Year. Goes to Virginia Tech. QB also goes to Drew Aller. As Brian Pearson in there for Defensive Player of the Year. Had a great season for us. George Pedaway in there for Best Running Back. Excited for him next season. I don't think we'll see any more awards for us. I think it was just those two in the mix all year. Brian Pearson, best linebacker as well. He's in the mix for that one. Best returner. We did have Lofton in there for a while, but he doesn't end up making it. Check out some of the stats. It's going to be the last time seeing some of these players. Joshua Douglas struggled early on. 1,500 yards, 54% compl completion percentage, 8 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. J.C. Evans started off really bad and then came in late in the season and really found his groove. 905 yards, 6 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 59% completion percentage. And the Devin Craigman, not going to speak on it. Is George Pedway leading rusher for us? 157 carries, 751 yards, almost five yards a carry, six touchdowns, and no fumbles, which is huge. Conrad Perkins probably will be seeing a lot more touches next season. Only two touchdowns on 14 attempts. Receiving wise, Chris Lofton led the team in receiving yards. Logan Kyle right behind him, as Logan Kyle is a senior. And unfortunately, won't be able to use him anymore. A great career for us in his dynasty. One of our best weapons out there. And Tajay Hudson, same thing. Almost 500 yards on the season. Also a senior. A great, great two seasons for us. This year we didn't get him as involved, but still made an impact when thrown the football. Sedu. Also a senior, just three touchdowns, 12 catches, 170 yards. Never really found his footing in, in the system for us. His blocking wise, Carter Sweezy, he might be transferring, but gave up seven sacks. So are we worried about it? Not really. Joseph S Simmons, 
also gave up seven sacks. Defensively, Phillip Harris, 90 tackles on the season. Jalen Stokes, really nice season. Was inconsistent at times, but transfer player coming over. Only one year with us. As Carter Banks Jr. and 18 tackles for loss. And right behind him is a freshman, Brian Pearson, with 16. Eric O'Neill, going to miss him. He's a big force in that middle of the defense. Six tack sacks for us in two seasons. A pick. 27 tackles for loss. He was a massive player for us. Going to definitely miss him. It's Pearson, eight sacks on the season. Carter Banks, five and a half. A couple other guys with three going down the list. Interceptions, KJ Flo and Chauncey Logan. Another one who's leaving us. Was one of our best defensive players out there. Consistently made tackles. Three tackles for loss this season. Five picks in two years. One of them being, or two of them being a pick six. Chauncey Logan. He might get drafted. That'd be huge for us. As, um, Antoine Booth also going to be uh, leaving us. Same with Trent Hendrick. Um, let me, Jacob Thomas as well will also be leaving us. Those are some other guys that were down the list, but still played a decent amount for us. Let's uh, use some coaching points here for these, these abilities. Get everyone to tier one here. Oh, wrong one. I think I'm going to try and work to get everybody to tier one on the motivator as well. But we can advance this week, moving to bowl week number two. As we could just sim to the college football national championship. Nothing going for us. We'll check out the bracket, some of the bowl game winners. As it's going to be Oregon versus Kansas State. No real surprising teams besides maybe Purdue in it. Kansas State and Boise State, you know, not shocking. As we'll check, check out some of the Sun Belt Conference bowl games. If it will load. There it goes. Georgia State, 9 and 5. As we'll check it out a different time, but advance to next week here, see who wins the natty. Oregon ends up winning the Natty. 31 to 21. Final top 25. Troy back in the mix there. No one else really that we we will play. So advance one more week into the off season officially and getting down to the important stuff. Players leaving. Couple guys are gonna be transferring, and it says none for persuasion. 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 As this rough, gotta get pet away. Not interested. Dylan Alexander, not interested. As we're already already losing a bunch of guys, and now losing arguably our best offensive player couple of freshmen and one of our better offensive linemen. He did give up seven sacks, so he's definitely replaceable, but losing George Petaway is is gonna hurt. It's definitely gonna hurt. As we do sign a three star right guard immediately advancing the week. 
As I doubt we got any draftees. No. I was hoping maybe Cha Chauncey Logan got drafted, but fortunately he doesn't. But we do get a tight end, Corey Wiley, Andy Doodle. Some pretty big guys. Both three star commits for us. Now, see if anybody in the transfer portal, anybody number one, we will gladly take them. Do desperately need corners. Go by position, see if anybody. Quarterback, a four-star quarterback, Ethan Vesco. We played him earlier in the season. I mean, we're going to take a shot at him. No running backs interested. That sucks. No receivers. No tight ends. No tackles. Nothing for guards or centers. Don't really need any defense alignment. Definitely go after a defensive tackle. At least one. Go after... Going after a couple outside linebackers. Both of Cincinnati's middle linebackers are leaving them. Gladly try and get both of them. This one's tough. We got a lot of corners interested in coming here. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Definitely got to be checking out some of the stats. Def desperately need safeties for sure. Going to be going after multiple free safeties and strong safeties. We'll scout a bunch. See who we like, see who we don't like. Ethan Vasco. Vasco could be huge for us. As a four-star QB could change everything. Give JC Evans some more time to develop as well. Outside linebacker, 82 zone, 80 speed. Gladly offer him. 84 speed for safety. Nothing crazy. We'll offer... Now 88 speed for Paul Black will offer him as well. A lot of guys with first for us, 87 speed. One of these guys could definitely move over. Was just going to try and get a bunch of scouting done here. Definitely want to scout Ethan. 93 throw power. Going to go all in on him. Send the house right away. We're going to offer scholarships here. Let's just start adding some points here. As we will be setting this up for a two-part episode. Just going to add a bunch of points. Definitely want Cade. He's definitely at the top of our list. Just trying to evenly distribute these points. I'm definitely going to scout the rest of these players next week. Just want to add up and give everyone a decent amount of points. Because nobody was really standing out. Cam's okay.
Paul Black and Kenzie Paul. They're both eh, not crazy on them. W Wingate definitely could see somebody. Could see him. It's 30 points left. And then we'll put five in on the freshman linebacker. As a short video here, but we're going to split it up into two parts. We'll have part two out shortly after, but I'll see you all then. Peace.